All right, so today we'll be doing a universal rear seat belt kit. Um, this will go on any golf cart. It's just a matter of how you're gonna mount it to each golf cart. Now on this golf cart, um, it's gonna be a little bit different. It, it'll, it'll be similar to most, but this is a, a little bit of higher level rear seat, but a lot of the bolts are gonna be the same. Like, you know, we're gonna be reusing like this bolt. Um, so let's go over the contents. We have, as you can see, it's broken in half on the bar. Um, we have all the hardware here and four seat belts. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage all this and lay it all out so I can show you how it looks. All right, here is everything. So we have the four retractable seat belts, the buckles, um, two spacer plates. These are gonna mount these two pieces together. And then the hardware for those is in this pack. These four packs right here are going to be to mount all those up. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this and get it lined up so we can bolt it down. So we got the two plates here. The way this works is, as you can see, I have it laying all the way out. Now pay attention, you don't wanna get it backwards. You have two holes on this side and two holes on this side, the one on the other side. All right, so this plate is gonna go right there. It lines up and then you're gonna take the other plate, put it on the back side, and then you're gonna use the smaller hardware. It's gonna sit just like that. The smaller hardware to put those through. Put the last one in. So you're gonna get the bolt, washer on one side, slide it through, and then the nut and washer on the other side. And then once they're all on there, um, they're all, then we're ready to bolt them down. to the other bar so now it's ready to go onto the golf cart so there's a couple of different ways you can actually use the spacers um one which is the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to reuse this bolt i'm just going to take the bolt out put the spacer in on both sides and then uh, attach the bar to it now the other way is on another golf cart so you can rotate the plate sideways and then put it on any flat surface you want to so as you can see, there's the bar, the plate right back there. Put it sideways, put it sideways, and then you just tighten it down so it squeezes against the bar. Um, the other way is the way I'm gonna do it since it's just easier. Um, it's gonna save me a little bit of time. So zap out this bolt, put it on the back side like this, bolt it back down. Okay, now that I got them both in, they're tightened down. Now it's time to put the bar up here against it with the longer part facing towards the front. Now, I can put this on this side, or if I want to go a little further to the front, I can put it on this side to get that bar to go a little bit further. I'm just going to put it right there, um, which is on the facing the back side of the golf cart. So now we're going to take our hardware, bolt, washer, come through. just like that, and then do a washer, nut, and then I like to measure it, so let me put the bolts through there and then we'll measure. Okay, so I put the bolts through. Now, I don't tighten these down all the way, so I just snug it up to where I can still, you know, move it back and forth. And the reason I do that is because I take a measuring tape and I measure it on both sides to get them even. Um, so this one's right around three inches. I'm gonna get the other side either at three inches or move it and then get them both measuring the same distance from here to the rail. And then once that's done, I'm just gonna tighten down those two bolts. Okay, got the two tightened down. It was actually three inches um, on both sides in between there. Now the leftover hardware right here, obviously we would have used it for the, the bolt down here, but we already had it, so we just reused it. So this not using, so we can just toss all that. Now we're moving on to these bags, which each one is gonna be for each one of these. So I'm gonna take them out of the pack. Let's do it right now. So you got nut, lock washer, I'm sorry, bolt, lock washer, nut, um, and then we're going to put two on. So use a lock washer on the opposite side. This is what I mean by the opposite side. The bolt will have nothing on this side. So no washer, no lock washer, just the bolt. On the other side will be the lock washer, then the nut. Um, so we just put it through. All right, sorry, I had a little trouble putting it in with one hand. All right, so I'm gonna put on the outside of the rail like that, just to give it a little more space whenever a passenger sits in here, um, gives a little more hip, uh, hip room. So put that there, this goes on, the lock washer, 
then the nut, sorry, then the nut, and then we just go ahead and angle it and zap it down. All right, got this one all zapped down. As you can see, I have it facing at an upward angle. Um, I do this for a couple different reasons. One is easier to pull out and then buckle in. Um, and the other is when you go to flip your seat up, it'll miss it. So I got this one bolted down as this is usually how I do it. I get them all set up loose. Then I just go around and zap them all tight. Um, so on this one, go on the outside of the bar. These you got to pay attention to because you got to pay attention to which side your release button's on. So you want the release button facing away from your seat belt, uh, retractable seat belt. Because if it's the other way, when you plug in your seat belt, this will be on the wrong side and it's gonna be hard for you to uh, release it. So make sure it's facing away from that side. So, um, and then I also put these on the inside of the rail just to give, again, a little more space for anyone sitting in there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and zap them down and show what it looks like. Okay, got them all in. So the front, as you can see, is more level with the bar because we have the cushion in the way. On the rear, we have to angle them going more upward so we can clear the rear seat flipping. Um, but all these are in. And then as I said, you want this facing the outside so when the passenger's ready to get out, that red button's not in here where they can't release it. So make sure it's facing the other way. So it's all done. And then just a bit. Everything cleared the rear seat. So thanks for watching, guys.